Finding a single document inside your collection is super easy. You need to first pass a variable that is going to help us to filter the documents. Let me show you what I want to say. I'm going to just back to my route and here I'm going to create another route, separate route to get a single document. So here I'm going to say app.get. Now this time I'm also using a get method to get the value from the database. Inside this parenthesis, here I'm going to pass single code, forward slash and then specify the route path. You can specify any path here. I'm going to say here tuto. And just out of that, I want to filter my document. So I'm going to create here a variable. I'm going to name this variable to do id. Now to create a variable inside this route, you need to pass here forward slash and after that you need to specify a variable name with colon. So before the variable name, you need to specify here colon and then specify the variable name. I'm going to specify here to do id. Make sure the name of the variable is valid. Don't specify any space between any word. Just out that, I'm going to specify here a controller. So I'm going to pass here a comma and specify my controller. So inside this to do controller here, I'm going to create a new controller for a single document or you can say find a single document. So here I'm going to say export dot find one is equal to that. I'm going to say here request and response and just return a callback function. So I'm going to just back to my route and here I'm going to say controller dot find one. Now let me save this file back to my controller and here we need to first get the parameter value and then filter that value and return a response. So what we need to do is we need to first get the parameter value. To do that, you have a property called params. You can access that property with this request object. So what I'm going to do is if I say here request dot params and then if I specify here to do id, then this statement is going to return the value of this variable. I'm going to pass value to this variable when I make a request in the URL. In the URL, I'm going to pass the value to this variable. Inside this todo ID, I'm going to have the value of the URI. So I'm going to get that URI value using this params property. And I'm going to have this param property with this request object. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to just simply call here my schema to do and then I'm going to call a method of it which is find by id and inside this method I'm going to just pass this request params dot to do id like this. This method is going to return a document with a specific id. So I'm going to just specify here that id and if this method return a resolve promise I'm going to get that using then method or if the promise is rejected I'm going to just catch that with this catch method like this. That's easy, right? Now, inside this then, if the promise is resolved, I'm going to say here to do and inside this parenthesis right here. Now, inside this then method here, I'm going to simply call if, if I don't have value in this to do, then I'm going to execute this if statement. And inside this if statement, I'm going to simply return response dot status and I'm going to return 404 status which is the error code and then I'm going to send a message. So inside an object, I'm going to say message and then I'm going to say to do not found with ID and then I'm going to concatenate my parameter value with it. So I'm going to say here request dot params dot to do ID. Make sure the variable name is exactly same. Now what I am doing here is I'm going to first validate this variable and if I don't have any value inside it, I'm going to return an error message. Now, if you want, you can remove this statement from here and validate this parameter value. If you want to validate this parameter, you can just add if statement about this. If we have value inside this params to do, execute the rest of the code. Otherwise, exit from this controller or return something else. You can do that like this. You can notice here inside this create, here I just validate the body. If it is a valid request, then I'm going to just execute the rest of the code. You can do the same thing inside this find one. You can validate this parameter and then execute this then method. Now, this is for a practice. Now, once you're done with that, inside your then method here, just out of this if statement, don't forget to send a response. So, I'm going to say here response.send and I'm going to send 
my to do just after that inside this catch i'm going to return error message and inside it i'm going to say if error dot kind is equal to object id if the error is a type of object id then i'm going to execute this if statement and here i'm going to say return response dot status and inside it i'm going to specify 404 the error code and send a response inside an object and here i'm going to say message and say to do not found with id and then i'm going to concatenate the request dot params dot to do id like this and just for that just out of this if statement right down here i'm going to return a response dot status and inside it i'm going to specify a status code which is 500 and then i'm going to send a message so i'm going to say here message error retrieving to do with id and then i'm going to concatenate the request dot params dot to do id now let me explain this statement i'm going to just first execute this if statement if the error is a kind of object id now there are different types of error in javascript if you want to know more about this error just print this variable and open the kind property when you open that you will find more about your error so i'm going to just say here if this is a kind of object id error then i'm going to return this message otherwise i'm going to return this message i'm just going to return two different error codes now let me save this file and make a get request on to do route so i'm going to say here to do and with this to do as you know we have here a variable to do id we need to pass value to this variable you need to call here a value of your document id you can notice here inside this response inside this body i have two documents let's say i want to get my second document then i'm going to specify this id right here and then specify this id now when i make this request i'm going to get this response let me show you if i click on the send button as you can notice i'm going to get this second document as a response so i hope you understand how to create a simple route to find a single document from the collection next i'm going to show you how you can update the value of the mongodb document